building dreams in Detroit one wall at a time. That's what dozens of volunteers did over the weekend in the Morningside Commons neighborhood. It was all a part of our Detroit 2020 Habitat for Humanity Detroit buildup. Our Channel 7 TV 20 team was right alongside volunteers from all over Metro Detroit and all around the country. Alicia Smith helped create the buildup with Habitat four years ago and takes a look at this year's event. Planks of wood, a pile of nails, and plenty of hammering soon yields walls for future habitat homes. Homes owned by family partners like Sylvia Hubbard. Our house was built with love, so when we moved in, we know like every light switch, every piece of paint, every nail that was drilled in was drilled in out of love, like someone gave their time to do this for us. And family partners work right alongside the volunteers. Our families put in anywhere between 250 to 350 hours of their time building their homes and the homes of those around them. After completing all their sweat equity hours and financial planning classes, the families get a 0% interest mortgage. And those who help make it happen come from all over. How about building houses? Is this something that's in your blood? Yes. I I actually go to Michigan State, uh, and my major is uh, construction management and urban and regional planning. So it's, it's perfect. This was designed for me. The buildup was also a good fit for our community action team: Belfort, St. Joseph Mercy Health System, Priority Health, NECA, and IBEW. We've worked on Habitat for years. We do probably six or seven throughout the year, and then we're going to be working on the Blitz build again this year. You spend an entire day down here. And uh, at the end of the day, you've got something that you can really point to with pride and say, we, we made a difference. None of us can do this alone, that we have to work together to achieve our missions. A whole host of 7 Action News and TV20 folks came out, including Stephen Clark, who helped hammer. We couldn't have done the buildup without the generous support from Nans Building and Lumber out of Canton. They donated all the wood for the fourth year in a row. English Gardens also donated flowers and soil for the window boxes. A true team effort. Now this is taking action. Detroit 2020! Hey, we want to thank all the volunteers who came out to help, including our social media friends on Twitter, the Back Channel, and the Early Risers. Yes, indeed. And a new face debuting on Channel 7 in September, one of our new hosts of the list, Jimmy Rhodes. He was one of the first ones to get there and one of the last to yeah. leave. Good job, Jimmy. We're both hammering away next to each other for a while, and I've got a blister here, but it was well worth it. Yes, indeed. Well worth it.